All right. When we have variables on both sides of the equal sign, there's a special case that can happen. Actually, there's two special cases that can occur. So equations do not always have one solution. An equation that is true for all values of the variable is called an identity and has infinitely many solutions. An equation that is not true for any value of the variable has no solution. So we take a look at these two examples. The first one I'm going to distribute through to get rid of the parentheses and I get 15x plus 6 equals 15x. Now, if I go to solve this, I need to get the variable terms on one side, and since I only have one constant term, I'm going to move this variable term to the right side. So I'm going to subtract 15x from each side. And when I do that, I'm left with 6 on the left side, but 15x minus 15x is 0. So my variable terms went away. And this is one of those special cases. And so when you're solving an equation and the variable terms eliminate on both sides, and all you have is a number equal to a number, if that statement is false, then there's no solution. And since 6 does not equal 0, this would be no solution. Now, if we look at example B, again, we have to use the distributive property, so I'm going to distribute through the negative 2. So negative 2 times 4y is a negative 8y, plus negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2, equals a negative 8y minus 2. So again, I have variables on both sides, so I'm going to move the variables to the left, so I'm going to add 8y to each side. And if I do this just this step first, those eliminate, leaves me a negative 2 on the left side. These eliminate and leaves me just a negative 2 on the right side. So again, we have no variable terms. So the variable terms eliminated, but this time I'm left with a true statement. Negative 2 does equal a negative 2, and this represents an identity. And this answer, this equation has what we call infinitely many solutions. All right. So those are the two types of special cases.